Greetings, I'm Robin Caddy and this is Book of the Week number 22 and it's Beautiful by Rankin. This book was published in 2006 and some things that I would like you to think about as we look at the wonderful imagery is the fact that there's basically no text, there's no page numbers, the only text is on the covers where there are no photographs and a definition of what beautiful could be at the front and the publishing details at the rear and his thanks which I would just like to read to you who he actually thanks. Thanks to all the stylists, hair and makeup artists and assistants who have made this book possible. So as we go through the book, let's consider a few things. What makes an image fashion, say, rather than portraiture? Rankin is, after all, primarily a fashion photographer, if you exclude the flowers that he's shooting at the moment. Uh, where are the men in this book? Are men not beautiful? Does it matter if we know who the subject is or not? Some of these people I recognise, some of the more famous models I even recognise, but I certainly don't know who all of the people are. Does that matter? Can we tell the original intention or expected usage for the photographs if they were used in an advertising campaign or for promotional material? Can we, can we discern that and how does that affect our reading of them now? If these photos are collaborative, why not provide full details of the models and of the people who did the styling and, and what styling was involved? Finally, how was it that he could publish this book for £10? I mean, that's amazing. It is sort of more of a, well, I don't know, it has a sort of a slightly zine-like feel to it, but it's, you know, it's a remarkable book. And for £10, I suspect uh, Rankin is just famous enough to sell enough copies that these things work. Anyway, enjoy the images.
So here we're confronted with the, the final text and the fact that we just have Rankin on the back. Uh, an interesting chap. I think he's an amazing photographer, to be fair. Uh, photographs like this, I just think there's something very, very special. You've got your kind of, you know, the space that you could use if you were putting this into a magazine or if you needed to add text onto it. So we can see, you know, perhaps an advertising context for it. But then you get a photograph like this, which, you know, could just be sort of normal portraiture, but it's stunningly beautiful. And I like the way he uh, fills his frame. That's one of the things I think I enjoy most about this book is, uh, yes, you've got some fantastic collaborations with makeup artists, but look at this use of sort of negative space. I don't see an awful lot of other photographers doing that, but is this something to do with Rankin's work, you know, being featured in magazines? Is that what's going on here? Are we seeing a conscious choice dictated by the end result where, where the work might end up? I don't know, but as I say, I think these uh, these photographs with the space and the hair and very much putting a, a face to one side of an image, I actually really like. I think this is some of my favourite photography of, uh, of any genre. And although I do not aspire to shoot like this, if I find myself shooting like this, I do definitely draw on some inspiration from the wonderful work of the master, Rankin. <laughs> 